Alrighty, I got the radio on its back, and the uh, bottom cover was still intact. All six screws holding it in place. Some were a bit of a bear to get out. I don't know how long it's been since they've been removed. There had been... Let's see if I get my light right. Well, it doesn't matter. You can sort of see that. There had been some sort of label across this set of holes... I uh, have no idea what it was. I'd have to look it up on the internet see if I can find out. Um, if it was a schematic, that's not a problem. I have a schematic. But if it was like the uh, location of all the vacuum tubes, that would have been handy. But I can still get that. So, here it is. Let's get it open here. Move some light around. We have lots of stuff in here. Look at all those tuning capacitors. It's crazy. I bet realigning this is going to be interesting. There's a pot on the bottom, which or on the back, which I mentioned before. I don't know what it does yet. Not for sure, but I can tell you it goes through uh, an old sprig wax capacitor. And then off the ground. Um, resistors seem... Like the typical color codes, I'm not seeing any of the older style resistors. I guess they're older style, where the color of the resistor itself makes up part of the resistance value. Uh, nothing seems to be broken. Nothing seems to be worn out, I mean, other than the fact that all the capacitors have to go. I mean, that's kind of a given. There's some connectors there. I'm not going to get a, good, get a very good shot. I don't have very good light here. But I did bring in a lamp so we could get something. So this is going to be a challenge. Um, looks like a lot of the capacitors are kind of lined up where you can read the values. Some are not. There's a, a number of mica capacitors in here which I'm not going to even bother to test. They're probably okay. I'm going to go with the odds. Um, the insulation on the transformer wires is not peeling off. The wire's really stiff, but the insulation seems to be okay. That's the power cord. I'm going to have to get behind this transformer to replace it because it disappears back behind there. So I'll have to look at how to get past this transformer. Because uh, the power cord's got to go. But we can see the backs of all the vacuum tube uh, sockets. And they all look good. I don't see anything broken. No cracks. Uh, at first glance, I don't see any broken resistors that we'll need to worry about. I will go through, of course, with my multimeter and and check the resistance, the impedance on all of those resistors. Make sure that they're within the specs. I don't see any. Oh yeah, so silver bands, right? That's going to be 10%, I believe. I mean, this one's got a silver band, so 10%, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure what this is here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm not sure what that is. I'll dig through the schematic and figure it out. Could be another resistor. Oh, maybe that's one of that style of resistor. Where the body's brown, it's going to be 1. 5%. I have no idea. 10%. Um, and then black, so maybe this is a... Well, I don't know. A, a, <laughs> I would just stupidity wise would say one ohm but that's dumb so that's probably not the case so i'll have to look into it but yeah there's another one right right there i don't know if you can see it there we go same type of thing um so yeah i think on these the body of the resistor counts as the color code because there's another one right here and if that one's to be believed be believed what is green That's eight, so is that a, I don't know, 100k ohm resistor or one mega ohm resistor? 
I am way out of practice. I used to be able to just read those codes in my sleep back when I was younger. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty clean actually. I'm not the least bit worried about the chassis. Uh, looking at the back side of the bottom cover, there's no evidence that any of the old wax capacitors have leaked down in here. Um, and although I would not expect any of them to actually be functional, none of them seem to have any external damage. There's no bubbling, nothing's all sticky. Um, they feel fine. But yeah, they're not to be trusted. So they gotta go. So I'll have to get on to ordering parts. And we'll see what we can do with this. Um, not the least of which is a new power cord. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a, a proper power cord so that uh, you can only plug it in one way with the wider uh, blade for, uh, for for neutral. That will help keep this a little safer. Although I'm not that worried. I mean, everything's going through a transformer in this one. So it should be relatively safe, which is good because this is not a wood or plastic case. Everything's metal. Uh, somebody had made notes, stuck labels on the bottom of things. Uh, there's one marked pad, one and three. I'm not sure what that's all about. If I flip this up, put that back up. There's the labels here for oscillator, or uh, yeah, I'm going to say our, uh, oscillator, uh, RF antenna. Uh, maybe he's talking about these three circuits. So oscillator, RF circuit, antenna circuit. That would be a pretty good guess, judging by the fact that that bottom set does appear to go down here to what appears to be antenna jacks. Again, though, without looking at the manual, I don't know that for a fact because I thought over here was antenna jacks, but, you know, that seems to be something else entirely, so I don't know. Anyway, that's all I know. I'm just babbling at this point. I am completely and utterly amazed at how good this looks in here. Um... And most of it seems to be relatively easy to reach. So I might have pretty good luck getting into everything to do this. Um, it looks like I can take this, this bottom surround off. All of this. Or this, like, oh, that rubber foot's loose. I'll have to fix that. Uh, I don't know if it can be tightened. Oh, yeah, the screw's just loose. <laughs> that, sorry, this rubber foot right here has a loose screw. So, at least they're all there. All the rubber feet are there. Uh, they don't really feel like rubber anymore, but they're there. But yeah, I think I can take this surround off. And that will give me better access to get in there and get things around the corner and stuff like that. Power cord. Cool. Well, I'm going to close this up. And we'll see how this goes over the next few months. Um, well, that's, a, that's a bit disconcerting. We got... This wire here wrapped around itself and it doesn't seem to go anywhere. It doesn't go there, or if it does, it would have been right here. But there's wire soldered there. There's a wire here. There's a wire back there. So, where did this go? So, I'll have to look into that. Um, you gotta like this type of solder work, board making. Well, wire to wire wrapping. Because there's just a giant lead sticking out right here. So, when I was back in college doing electronic engineering classes, which I've forgotten most of now, we would never have left that bit of wire sticking away out there like that. We just cut that off. There's probably no reason to have it on there. Okay, so I've got to explore this. Oh, and there's a. Uh, I wonder. No, it doesn't, because none of these have that. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'll find out. Hopefully that's not going to be too big a pain to fix. I don't see any missing components. So, I just don't know why this is like this. 
Oh, we'll have to find out. Okay, well that's kind of cool.